Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Anna Zitlo. And first, I'm going to do this super important thing and take a selfie with you. So everyone, uh, smile or pretend you're booing. It'll be super hilarious, and I'll send it to my mom later. Awesome. OK, here we go. Oh, another thing, small disclaimer. Um, this talk has nothing to do with my employer. I don't re represent them in any way. And uh, the content isn't related to them either. So here we go. I'm going to talk to you about a problem that, as developers, we don't really have to consider much in our day-to-day -day coding. But when you do consider it, it's extremely important. And as technology becomes more intelligent, more automated. These are problems gonna, that are going to come up more and more. So this is the trolley problem. How many of you have seen this problem before? OK, it looks like 20%. So brief overview. Trolley's going on some tracks. It's going to hit and kill five people. But you're standing at a lever, and you can pull it and switch it to go on a different set of tracks so it only kills one person. What do you do? So this problem becomes a little bit more uh, relevant to today when you switch out the trolley and you put in self-driving autonomous vehicles. So is it going to go and hit the five people or the one person? Now, because we've switched it to reality, we can put some weights on here. What if there's a 20% chance it's going to hurt the five people or a 99.99% chance it'll hurt the one? It starts to make you feel a little bit differently. Like, as a human being, I feel like I want to be a bit more optimistic. But mathematically, how do you judge this? Another issue arises when, as this technology progresses, we're going to know exactly who's in that car. How old, how young. What do we expect from this person based on their demographics? How should we change our al algorithms to accommodate for that? Another issue could be, what if uh, taking our customer's car and endangering them is favorable to hurting other people. I mean, they are our customers in the end, but how do you make that decision? This is difficult code to write, but it's already being written, so we need to be aware of the issues. But who makes these decisions? Who's going to decide what happens in these scenarios? Are we going to let corporations do it? Well, it's kind of an optimization problem. What are you optimizing for, though? Is it the number of lives you save? Is it the number of years that you expect these people to live? Or in the case of corporations, maybe it's the value you expect from these people. So what if there's a scenario where you have a pricing tier, a subscription, and people who have subscription black have their lives valued more? Does it seem right? But we're already doing this to a certain extent, pretty far removed, but you can see it here. We spend more money on various areas for more safety. So these two cars, one's more safe than the other, but this is kind of opposite. The idea is shaded by the fact that there are a lot of other variables that are changed between the two of them. So what if it looks like this? Can you pay more money for one of these cars to have it value your life more? instead of the other, when everything else is the same? To me, that seems more like a bug than a feature. So who then is going to decide? Government? Academia? Who? I don't have a solution, but as developers, in the end, our code is going to be running on these things. And it might be. You're at .NET Fringe 2025, and your code is running on the other side of the world making these decisions. So it's good to be aware of them and think about where the requirements are coming from and where you stand on these issues. Thank you.